you can't even answer the question. Rico, were you rooting for me to win if Jerry wasn't involved? No, he can't. He Why? Can't. Wait, this, I don't get this that. This is eye-opening, Dave. This is so crazy oh, yeah. that he literally can't root for what I thought was my friend. Barstool Pick'em, we are back. It is week 13, the last week of the regular season. Uh... And we're gonna we're gonna find out what happens here. This is the this is feast week. This is rivalry week. I'm so excited. We will be in Ann Arbor for uh, the game. Get excited for that, Dave. I'll start with you. How are we feeling? About you mean like Michigan or like in everything? Life? Uh, everything. I, I've been yeah. tilting. I, I've been tilting. So I've had. Uh, I was really hot. I think I won 14 and 15 leading into that Bengals injury game. And now I've, I've lost it all back and then more because I've increased bets. Uh, I, the Bengals game killing. And then I was doing so bad yesterday. I bet on Utah college hoops yeah. for St. John's. That was an anti St. John's bet because I had watched them and I don't think they're good. Uh, I hadn't seen anything on Utah. Utah is so bad, so bad, so bad, so slow. So white, so bad. Um, it was the worst bet. Like they were down ten, they were minus five. They they went up two, but it, like I was watching the game, it was fool's gold. They stink. They yeah. stink. So um, yeah, and then the Broncos late loser, Celtics loser. The only thing I should just bet a hundred grand on Mister Ice every night. It's I called it my savings bond yesterday. I just put the money away. And it's like, I know that I'll just comp compound interest. I don't even know if that's how saving bonds work, but it is the most. Him and Che. Che has won 11 in a row. Like, I haven't been on Che. The two guys, they just, they, all my bets lose, and then those guys keep me afloat. That they makes just keep me sad me... that Che. Che, I can't, like, it's, it's his ship moves so fast. I never. I know. So. Yeah. You, you, it, it's, um. I was on Utah with you because I was I, I saw you tweeted it. I was like, I'm fucking hopping in this hole. It was they, they were never, never close to covering that. That game. big man they have, who people oh he scored 30 points last game, no 35. He's the worst player I've ever seen. He yeah. he thinks he's Elijah one with the shot selection that he has. He'll take like sky hooks from like the top of the key. They're not even close. They're not even. I, I don't know if this guy had one good game. He was shooting shots that the best centers in the history of the game couldn't hit. Like back to the basket, 15 feet out, turnarounds, and he'd take it. And like they weren't even close. He'd airball by two feet. And it, it, I, that was one of the worst things I've ever watched. Feast week. It's feast week. It's feast week. I was, Do you know who that guy is, Rico? This big guy in Utah? I don't. I don't. Seven feet tall. He he the, I his name now. The but. moves <laughs> he was doing, you couldn't hit on an empty gym. It was surreal the shot selection <laughs> he was taking. Um I was so close to that T D parlay, which would have just set me up for feast week. Would have Brandon, been Carlson. Horrible. Brandon Carlson. Brandon Carlson. Uh Thank you, Dave, for for rooting rooting for me. Thank you, Elio. It's good to know everyone's rooting for you when you got a, a play like that going. And I saw the parlay. I have him on my fantasy team. I feel like he's scored like four straight weeks. I know. And he I was know. your easiest guy, plus one ten. And if the Broncos don't get they, we basically had the chance. It was third and one. They did a, a Russell Wilson sneak, got it, called an offsides. Like that was it. They would have been they would have been first and goal at like the eight. And they would have run at least twice to him. Yeah. And that was brutal. Um I you still I still had twenty two and eight last night, Dave, that guy. D Rico, he he shoots the ball every single time. Yeah. And, I was and, driving in and and ninety percent I was waiting for the ninety percent of his points were like broken play, like put back balls kicked, he just picks it up and dunks. He's horrible. Horrible. Um yeah, I was. I that was a, that was a tough game, but I do appreciate. Yeah, uh, the TD parlay, Dave. You rooting for me? And we 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 like when you're close on a parlay, you'll send it to me, and I'll be fucking dialed in. Um, it's good to know you have friends, unlike some people in the room who I, I. It's insane to root against a friend 
to win a hundred grand on a two thousand dollar bet. Insane. Some may yeah, say it's not a friend. I think it's a hell of a spin zone to say that somebody has nothing to do with its impact on it, but I never said that. I you're literally the ball. I never said that you you're had an boss. impact on it. I where you could actually see the tweet where I said Rico had no impact on this bet whatsoever. It's just Dave, I don't know if you saw the clip. He was asked if he's rooting for Javante Williams. He couldn't bring himself to say that he wanted me to win that bet. I also saw you blame it on Hank early. Well, yeah, that was Hank did fuck us at the beginning, but we we that was that was that one possession. The TV's changed. He was looking for the Celtics game, and the TV's changed when they're in the red zone. But yeah, Rico can't he can't bring himself to even say just even lie and just be like, yeah, I want them to win. Because he, I was a little, I was a little thrown off by the question. Dukes was like, "What do you?" I was like, "Oh, I have Dobbs, so I didn't, you know." Let's. Yeah. I said I was rooting against it. Like You're such a liar. It's insane, and I lost so much money. Wait, so you on- didn't know Big Cat had that bet going? I was thrown. I just thrown off by the question. I was. Oh. Asking, what I was Dobbs, the question? So. Yeah. What was the question? If I was rooting for it, rooting for my bet. What was what threw you off about that question? Uh, I think. The clock's going back. The so Hank, you're just not a, you're just not a rider anymore, huh, Hank? No, yeah, I just, it, that's see, Dave. That's the interesting thing, like with the gambling etiquette and yeah. Says, I, oh, Game I want to hear year, this. And Hank I want to hear this. Goes, yeah. and it's like a little bit of like a laughy laughy, which again, like Hank I was, was right though. With that. Hank hey, was Hank, right. Like good luck. Hank was so right. I, Hank, I, Hank won. I just Hank didn't won. expect to see Hank reading reading Rico the Riot Act, being the the inquisitor the inquisitor there, like the FBI. Well, no, I was just curious. I, 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 I all these all these fake riders, these new age riders, the people that have been around for like uh, a day, maybe one presidency, two presidencies that are up my ass. This happens on the show, and, and most of the time, I don't really my ears don't perk up. Dave's done it a lot where Rico says something and, and Dave kind of feels it out and is like, I can tell by the way you're saying it, the opposite thing is going to happen. My ears don't usually perk up. I usually just listen to the show, go about my business, don't really let your guys' uh, opinions affect my picks because I know that's a dangerous game to play. When Rico was talking about the Kansas-Kansas State game, my ears perked up and I was like, I don't. I think he's just doing this. This is a heart bet. It's not a game of the year because of uh, uh, stats. It's just he wants Kansas State to win. Then... I still wasn't going to pick them as my, my mortal lock. Me and Jack McCarthy have been on the same on opposite sides yes. from mortals four times. I'm 0 and 4. <laughs> I was going to take Washington. He picked Oregon State. So the second he picked Oregon State, I was like, I can't, I can't do this again. And so Kansas just opened itself up to me. It wasn't personal. No, it was the right. All, Listen, all I was the, never all... co- I was never covering. Yeah, and no. Kansas had an unbelievable game plan, and the kid that I factored in to get his ass kicked, Ballard, played unbelievable. So start to finish, way better bet. I'm not even talking about that. I was talking more about Rico being like he wasn't aware of Dan's big bet. And then, Hank, you you continuing with a line of questioning, being like, Rico, you weren't well, he, aware of it? He, because that seems like a line of questioning. I would usually go down, not Hank, a rider. It doesn't seem like that that uh, 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 general should be you know, reading the right act or, or, or reading the Miranda rights to, to the Capitan. The, so that was what is a little surprising, Hank. Just just trying to hold them accountable, you know? We're trying to, trying to all I ride did, and I rise did, together. Dave, right. Dave, I didn't know that. I didn't know Dave, that. Hank holds Rico accountable. Now. It was the <laughs> easiest thing in the world for Rico just to say, yeah, I want him to win this bet. And he literally is such a selfish prick, he couldn't bring himself to do that. It's insane. It's actually insane. And again, I don't I don't think Rico cost me the bet. Hank, I don't think he cost me the bet. I obviously was upset because the TV changed it didn't. when it we were in red the zone. Guide popped up. It, the guide popped up and it got small like when we were running red zone. But um, I lost so much money on Kansas State, Dave. And then to have Rico not even be able to say, yeah, I hope he wins $100,000 on a $2,000 bet. It just shows that he is the most selfish person we have at Barstool. I never really asked you to bet Kansas State, though. I mean, we, oh it's a competition. God. We're trying this to give is, out the this picks. Is, that's what you're going to go with? Why were you? Really you said lose. game of the year. I fucking ride with you game of the year. You don't. You are incapable of doing the, the same exact thing for someone else. That's It's been a running course for your entire career. You can't. You want everyone to ride, and then you don't 
you you're not able to like even say, "Hey, I hope he wins." You could have lied. That's the craziest part. You could have been like, "Oh, is this because uh, uh, you win would have led to a, a Jerry, Jersey yeah. Jerry win?" Yeah, yeah. He can't so handle could he Jersey have answered, Jerry. answered, "I hope you win, Dan, but Jerry loses." Yeah, at least that would have been honest. I don't well, know how actually, that would I don't work. know what was Jerry's know? stake in it. Uh, I was gonna wipe his loan clean. Got it. So yeah, yeah, that is the root of the problem. Rico uh, did not want to see Jerry win. Should just said that, Rico. I hope you win, Dan, but I hope your partner loses. I don't know that Rico was even wanting me to win, though. I think Rico doesn't like me either, which is fine. I'm happy I know that now. But I think even if Jerry wasn't part of it, I think he would have rooted against me. Yeah, I don't know because I gotta be honest. I got that old lab. He's just crawling. He's rubbing up against my leg, and I'm giving him pets now. So it's like you know. I think the story that everyone is kind of distracting, Dave, and you should be a little mad in terms of this weekend. Um, we might have the biggest oh regular season God. game of the this fucking is, year. Like we we are the he, uh, you premier can't even college answer the question, show. Rico. Were you rooting for me to win if Jerry wasn't involved? No, he can't. He Why? Can't. Wait, this I don't get this that. Eye opening, Dave. This is so crazy oh, yeah. that he literally can't root for what I thought was my friend. Like, Dave, when you that sent I'm me confused. a parlay, why, why were? Yeah, why wouldn't yeah you? it would have been. Yes, obviously I was. Obviously, how did it take that long to just answer that? I guess. Uh, I delays. guess you don't. I guess <laughs> we're. I guess we're not friends. That's fine. I, Dave, when you have a big parlay, I root my yeah. balls off for you because it. It's why wouldn't you want your friend to win a big parlay? Two, if you two don't for a hundred grand's insane. Insane. And if you don't have a obviously, if you have a direct bet against it that was pre-existing, I would never expect you to just be like, "Oh fuck my bet, I'll root for yours." But he has no dog in the fight, and he couldn't bring himself to say, "Yeah, I hope you win," because he's that selfish. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's a, it seems like a little bit of a stretch, but what? How? What am I stretching? I think I'm in a lose lose. So you're, you're right. It's how? You know. What lose lose? Where? What's the lose lose? When someone says, "Are you rooting?" Duke said, "Are you rooting for him to win the bet?" How? How is saying yes a lose lose? Well, because it's not. Be, yes, it's not. Well. No, I mean we've already discussed it. You you winning would mean Jerry winning. So that part, so that's a lose, I guess. But then what about me winning? That would be a win, right? Correct. So I yeah. think I think I don't understand why the answer was an automatic. If it was just me, what have you been rooting? To me, that seems like it should be an automatic yes. I understand yeah, yeah. the rivalry yeah, no. or whatever is going on with the old dog and the new dog. I get that. So I see that. Um, but I understand. Yeah, I understand the root of this is Jerry versus Rico. It's not me. But like, just asking him now if it was just me and he couldn't even answer. Yeah, that, that was. So I think that, that I he doesn't get. really. He's got an issue with me, which is fine. But I'm happy I know that. You're like really stretching. Well, that's yeah. No, I I don't have an issue. It's it is what it is. Yeah, Rico, I should answer quicker, I guess. But Rico, if 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 it was just my bet, would you have been rooting for me to win a hundred thousand on a two thousand dollar bet? Yeah, that would have been great. Oh, see? That was nice. I mean, I appreciate I, it. For the first time in a long time, and I guess I'm not in Chicago, have been, I, I'm not even sure I understand everything at it going on right now and play right now. With with Rico and Jerry, I don't fully understand it either, Dave. Well, I, I he, he he I think there's maybe something going on between you two that I don't know about. Who? Me and who? Rico. I I didn't I didn't think there was, but apparently there is. Maybe that a, was the maybe thing. a parade in that new dog around a little bit too much. It's crazy. the The old dog got paraded around for like ten years, and he's he's pretending that never happened. New dog's also in Chicago. He bit, in he Chicago. bit a lot of people. The the old dog. He was he right. Par- but he, well, he couldn't parade him around that much because he snapped. You never sometimes, knew. He agitated. Sometimes the old dog like twists it around and says that there was never a parade for him and 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 his owners never bought him new things uh when i think that's contrary to facts well you couldn't parade him around again around too much because you know he he bite yeah but you know what the new dog may bite a little bit too he could i could be in a i could be i could be joe biden every dog i get bites <laughs> i could be in that situation it's tough to watch that unfold and then 
it's like I had really nothing to do with it, and then you're at the root of the blame being four states away. Is I like, did I didn't blame you for the bet losing. I literally didn't blame you for the bet losing. I said it was not. Blame I said it was around. not your fault that it lost. You did not right. affect the bet whatsoever. I thought just rooting for me would have been normal, but it wasn't. But if you're telling me that it's only the new dog that's a problem, not the owner, I can live with that. Yeah, I think there was a there was a, a bowl of food, and yeah, we got into a little squabble, and then uh, that kind of set everything <laughs> off. So yeah. Okay, so I I gotta the new dog should not be involved in bets publicly, so that the old dog that's can that's bark another for that is another like stretch of information. Do whatever you want, but I know that I don't win or lose anyone else's bets. I know I never said you did. How many times I gotta say it? I do not think you affected the bet. All right, I literally just thought we were friends, and when <laughs> you're like, I'm not rooting for it. I was like, okay, are you that wearing sucks. that hat on purpose, Rico? No, I just like this hat, to be honest with you. What is it? It's a dog. Yeah. It's like a lab. It's, it looks like a chocolate lab. Rico, I lost so much on K-State. <laughs> you could have wrote Hank. You had two dogs in the fight on oh, that one. Oh, man. Did I, okay. well, I don't even know for the purpose of this show. Did I, was Kansas State a loser for me or a winner? Because I know I well, thought, what? Well, I so thought if the quarterback talk- played that Kansas would cover. Yeah, so you're in a tough spot, Dave, because pregame, Jason Bean warmed up. So the rumor was, oh, he didn't play. play. No, Dave, he didn't. he didn't take he didn't take one oh, snap. Oh. It was it was like a decoy the whole way. So oh wow, then I guess you really should have you really should you should have redeclared before game time, and the line moved back from ten to seven. So you really should have like reclarified right before kick. Well, but... I, when I saw, I thought I saw his playing, and I thought the line moved from ten to seven. So I assumed he played. I didn't see a play. Everybody though. thought he was. It was a decoy. It was Booby Miles. Got it. Cole Ballard played. Got it. Wow. So they they scored that many points with the third string. They dominated the clock in the first half. They ran a wildcat. The kid uh, Neil. They couldn't tackle him. It was Devin Neil. Yeah. Interesting. It was a tough one. I, I'd still ride with you, Rico. Like Appreciate I, I don't. I'm not mad at you that I lost on Kansas State. I'm a big boy. I, I felt the game of the year energy. Needed it. I felt good about Georgia too. Fucking should have made that one it, but it is what it is. Um, you also got you got a shout out from PFT Rico for for your game of the year. Yeah, co- confused Corso, which yeah. is funny. <coughs> how how did he how did he know it was your game of the year? Uh, I congratulated him on going on the show. Got I it. said, hey, hope for a shout-out. I mean, that goes a long way. So, oh, so you asked for a shout-out. I said, hope you pick Kansas State. Hope for a game of the year shout-out. How many times did you congratulate him? Well, he didn't answer the first one, so I said, still congrats. So, yeah, I said two. And when you saw him in person, did you ask for a shout-out? No. It's good to see you talking to those birdies, Jack, instead of moving them. I heard you cornered him in the hallway. There was a rumor going around, Dave, that Rico was like, you have to say my name when you go on this. Dave, let's, Dave, impartial judge and the head of this company who stops a victim of rumors yourself. When was it announced he was in, he was doing it? I'm not 100%. Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. On my own dime, I flew out there Thursday and then cornered him in the market and no one saw me in the office. Well, they, while I came back to do Pick Central Thursday and Friday, let's did, you cornered him. You, 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 right? you, you cornered him in Chicago. They're saying it's the only place he was. Isn't that place wired? Mm. But he, Rico's saying he couldn't have cornered him because when he was in Chicago, it wasn't known that he was doing it. Right. I, I got your back here. I, Rico. Listen, I I have no idea what's like. I was just told that you asked Jackie for a Tables. shout out. What, what is your game here, Jackie Tables? I, I was just told. I was just told that there was it was brought up multiple times to PFT that it was his game of the year. And By who? Who, who are you getting your info from? Uh, my, my my info is coming straight from the source. You got to remember, PFT. Dave. Old Dave, the the tight him and Maxi big at the tables. They are thick as <laughs> thieves. Well, that's a direct like. Did you ask for a shout out or no? Yeah. Okay, then we're good. Goes a long way. I know it's just a big moment for PFT, and then you to instantly make it about yourself is mm. right on brand, mm. you know? 
I, I don't think, know. Listen, insert... what's, good, what's good for Bosco is good for the brand. <laughs> fair, <laughs> right. Fair point. The old dog just wanted a belly rub. You get your name mentioned on national TV. That's something That's you could. huge. Yeah. That's that, huge. You hang that. I, fr- I framed that picture and hung it on the fridge with the captions printed out from the TV. But but the game lost. <laughs> That's another spin zone. They picked straight up on that show. So technically it won. But the game of the year lost. Right. But I get, he got a winner with Kansas State. Got Good it. point. That's that's Got a fact. It. Got it. Got it. Got Dave, it. you've been nothing but uh you should think about running for judge. I know like they float <laughs> that president shit. You are straight and narrow. I'll be honest. I never trusted the process when they they say, Hey, you know, Dave's fair. It, it has rung true more than ever. <laughs> I've told you that from day one. Right. If you go in and you're trying to if you go into the judge and you're trying to beat a murder rap, and you got things like, and you're trying to squeeze your way out of it. It's not going to work well. The judge is going to be like, oh. when you go in straight as an arrow for a parking ticket and you have clear alibis, it's a lot easier to get the judge to dismiss the case. No? Yeah. Very, very I'm much learning so. that. I am, know- in, the, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I'm sorry it took me 10 years, but I look you in the eyes. I say, I'm, that's true. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> it's huge. That's you. And in the spirit of, uh, you know, big things too. Go big. I mean, it's 30 <laughs> minutes here. Oh, go man. big blue. We got oh, a big man. fucking game this week. Big, biggest, like, can we get into the maybe the biggest game in college football history? Big, biggest game, <laughs> biggest college <laughs> on foot, this show, biggest college football game since uh, we've been doing barstool, no doubt. Regular season, yes. I, I would say period. P- playoff? Where? Which one? D- this Michigan Ohio State game with I, everything agree with you, surrounding Dave. it. Yes. yes, is the oh history of the show forever. B- b- since I, obviously the Patriots had what I would say is similar type things because of everything they went through, but when you find this game, the rivalry, the records, Massive. what's on the line, the controversy, it's the biggest game we've had since doing this show, since Barstool college football for mm-hmm. us, without a doubt. Um. All right. Let's talk some some college football. Obviously, the playoff picture gets a little murky now that Jordan Travis broke his leg. Rico, what are your thoughts on what uh, the committee's thinking or where, where it's going to land? I was talking to Travi. He's saying that this basically gives them a freebie. If, even if Florida State wins out, they can make a case of, like, completely fucking them because it's the old NCAA tournament committee shit, which I hate. Wait, they Travi judge- for the boys? Yeah. Uh, okay. They have an excuse now. Like, nobody wants to see Florida State in the playoff. They're obviously a different team without him, which I always say. It's like when they gave Kenyon Martin a two-seed with Cincinnati because he got hurt. It's like, well, judge them on what they did. If they go undefeated, I think they're in, but I do see the scapegoat. I don't think they'll beat Louisville. I also think they could lose to Florida. Um, I haven't, this people weekend. told me this backup guy's played before and is pretty good. Yeah, and What's it's, it's kind of it? like, like Cardell Jones. Cardell Jones comes in. Kicks the shit out of Wisconsin in the Big Ten Championship game. And so if he goes in, beats Florida soundly, beats Louisville soundly, you can't keep them out just because he's the backup. Yeah. Cardell I, Jones, they went and won a national right. title. I, I think the, ki- uh, the kid hey, is. Hey, it's not my idea. Sean's floating it. So I just. I think the like, kid has played before. Well, he's a Bama before. fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Thanks, the kid man. has played before. I agree. <laughs> you can't penalize him. Um, devastating loss. Just devastating. Um, horrible. Brutal injury, damn! I didn't even see. It. I was watching something else. I saw it. brutal. Uh, but if they're undefeated, they still got to go. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I, uh, the rest of the playoff. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The more and more I look at it, I keep talking myself into oh, Bama. Like three weeks ago, I'm like, Bama's gonna get in, and the committee's talking already. Bama's getting in over Texas. I really think when when the sun sets, Georgia's gonna be hanging that SEC banner. So it might well, yeah. not matter. Yeah. That's what the committee's rooting for. They're rooting for Georgia to win the SC championship game, and then they don't even have to worry about this. I it's, not, it's a non-issue. Is, is Mertz out for Florida? Yes. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They actually hung in that game against Mizzou, though. Yeah. I, like, they yeah. lost on a last-second field goal. Yeah, I had the over in that. It was slow, and then went haywire in the third quarter and hit the over. Um, Mertz, like, ran over two guys. Then no, he was out for the whole game. What? He was in street clothes. No, he played. I was, was watching the game. He he for the second half? He yeah, he ran through 
Like, he got sandwiched on a tackle. It was amazing. He ran over two guys, got a first down, flexed, ran one oh, more play, and then he had to go to the sideline. And then he hurt his collarbone. No, he, he hurt it on that play. And he changed. Yeah, four, he, Merch he, went 14 of 21, 183, two TDs and a pick. He, I didn't watch a second of yeah, that the game. The play so. he got hurt on is amazing. He, he, oh, I so in the fourth quarter, he was in street clothes. So I was like, what's yeah. going on? No, he, he got into him fast. He ran over two guys. Like, he need it was third down. Two guys on Missouri came up to tackle him. He ran them both over. It may have been that they hit him at the same time and like kept him up. He got drilled, but he it looked like he just Earl Campbell ran them over, celebrated, flexed, stayed in the lineup. And then the next play, I think he just tried to hand it off, but he was broken. On he, the score app, it's uh, Graham Mertz collarbone fracture out for a year. Yeah, he yeah. got watched the play. On the okay. play. I'm watching it. He he just completely trucked him. Yes, but he got trucked. He may have actually got sandwiched, so he stood up. But that's the he stayed in for one play after that, but that was the end of him. Yeah, they, so Florida might have won that game if, if Graham Mertz had stayed in it. Yeah, he was cruising. Um. Yeah, so that will be that will be tough for Florida going up against Florida State without uh, Graham Mertz. Yeah, which. that's what I was asking. The backup, they didn't look the same. They did move it up and down. They're running the ball like crazy on Missouri. Yeah, there was just explosive play after explosive play. Yeah, because I had the over as well, and I was like, yeah, it, I, was I thought it was completely wait, wait, wait. dead. Yeah, I was watching. It was just boom, 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 one down, up and down, and 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 then that really was the change of the game when Mertz got hurt. Um. All right. Does it feel like all year we kept saying, like, oh, it'd be great for a 12-team playoff. It'd be great for a 12th. Doesn't it feel like kind of 7 through 12 is pretty weak now? That's and always going to be the, the case, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was – David, it felt like it was going to be loaded earlier in the year. You know what I mean? I feel yeah, like the back, back end of the top 10 always are teams like that you feel like would lose by 40 to, like, the top. Yeah, you get you get later in the season you get like an Ole Miss going to Georgia and losing by a hundred. Yeah, you may and end like, up, oh shit. Sometimes you'll end up with a team on a heater like in Alabama, where it's like you want to see them in there or something. But uh, it's generally the part part of the top ten is pretty weak. Yeah, the AP the AP tw uh, right now is Texas. Well, Texas is obviously a playoff, but nine Louisville, Missouri, State, Penn, and Mississippi are uh, nine through twelve, and then you got. Oklahoma, LSU, and Oregon State, and Arizona behind them. So it's like Arizona is a team I would love to see in a twelve-team playoff. They've been playing great ball. Yeah, that's that's something. They they have been. I mean, they kicked the shit Missouri, out of Utah. Missouri, Missouri too, to a degree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, they played I mean, they Georgia killed. pretty tough. Yeah, they did. They did. Uh, and then Heisman. What do you guys think? I, I put a future <laughs> on Jaden Daniels. I, I think it might I, be Bo. You think so? It's like even if right he, now, right? If he balls uh, out, yeah, I mean, Jane Daniels. I bet him at uh, plus five fifty. He's down to plus one ten. And and what's, he had what's eight touchdowns. Knicks plus one twenty. Plus one twenty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I think it, I think his Knicks is to lose because he's got the bigger games. Yeah. Well, more so, he's got two games instead right. of one. But they're also like bigger games. Well, I shouldn't say that because he he only he might have one if he loses to Oregon State. But that's a moot point because if he loses, he's out of the race anyway. Right. So. But Oregon State's a big game, and then and Washington huge. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to thread a needle here where I have the Oregon future and I have a Jaden Daniels Heisman future. Dan, are you, little, I need are you a little worried that every time people throw away Washington, it's like Washington figures out a yes. way to win? Yes. No, that game. Their defense, like, like, all of a sudden was, like, good. I, I, I watched that entire game, and the whole time I was like, Oregon State feels like they should be winning, but Washington just doesn't. They they have a little bit of TCU in them like last year where people doubt them, but all they do is keep winning. Yeah. And it's like and Michael Penix is incredible. He throws fucking darts. And yeah, I, I agree with you. Like there is definitely part of me. Like I don't saying, think Oregon goes in and just smashes no, them. No, no, absolutely not. I think it'll be a war. I think it'll be similar like a three point game. That's what I need though. I need Bo Nix to somehow win these next two games by like one point and uh like look bad doing it. So Oregon I know Washington's in. at home, but that Apple Cup always gets fucking bonkers. I could see Wazoo spoiling the party this week. Yeah, they buried Dion on Friday night. They Cam him. Cam Ward is a good player. It's just they, you know, they they haven't played great all year. So, but that yeah. Apple Cup is banana land. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get to some games. Um, by the way, Barstool Store. The this episode of Pick'em Barstool Store. Uh, when you're listening to it. 
later on this week, we're going to do our Black Friday sale, 20% off the entire store. What we're doing this year is there's a goal. Once we hit the goal, everything over the goal, Dave is uh, going to give it to all the producers. So all the behind-the-scenes guys that do great work here, uh, they will get a split of the pot. So um, I think if we get like a million over goal, which is, I think, doable if people step up, it's like can be, I don't know, 10, 20 grand a person. So it's significant. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be big. And we're we're gonna do a but we're gonna do our Cyber Monday telethon. We're gonna do something out here too, uh, leading into the telethon where we do like a live stream with all the producers playing basketball. So it should be great. Uh all right. Let's get to the games. Uh records. We're all over fifty percent. That's good news. Dave, you're fifty three percent. Rico, you're fifty point seven. I am fifty point one, hanging on for dear life. Uh, and Bob Diaco standings, mortal locks, Zoopies in first seven and four. I'm at seven and five. By the way, I actually, you know what? I'm going to be the bigger man. I'm going to say right now, if I win the Bob Diaco, uh, trophy this year, I'm vacating my title, my own title, because that Auburn pick was the worst mortal lock in the history of mortal locks. So I will vacate the title. If I do win it, we'll just be like no winner that year because I should feel tremendous shame for that pick. They lost by 21 as a 24-point favorite in a fucking buy game. They paid him $1.8 million to come to Auburn, and Auburn lost outright by 21. That is the worst mortal lock pick you could ever give. I am hereby, if I do somehow beat Zoopy out, I will vacate my own title. <laughs> Toledo was close. Yeah, Toledo was close, bad. but Rico, like, that's, I deserve all the that's, shame and well, all the ridicule. In fairness, that was, I think, a 38-point difference. Maybe. I got to look at that final. I think they lost by 10. They might have lost by 20, but it was 28 points. So that's a 48-point difference. I mean, Yours mine, was, mine was a 45. No. Yeah, mine was 45. 45. We'll have to look that up, that score. But I didn't uh, think Diego Pavia was going to play. Close. He's electric. I mean, that was the worst pick of all time. Literally, I don't think – the only pick that comes to mind that I had worse was – um. The game that you got kicked out of, Dave, the Rams Patriots Super Bowl, and I had the over. Oh yeah, it was like fifty five, <laughs> yep. and it was what like thirteen ten, 10 or final something. Yeah. thirteen yeah. six, yeah, thirteen three, yeah. thirteen three. Yeah, those are, those are humbling when you have those when you put a little extra cash on a bet and you're like, there wasn't even a second that I was like close to even I, being in that game. Listen, it, it doesn't have the same math, but the amount that I put on the Utah running Utes. It it I I they had no chance none zero and I put like 120 on them. Yeah, it's I know you lost. It's so hilarious that it's a Sunday night game too, and like the whole world is worried about the NFL, and it's you have Utah sweet. St. John's. I, it's it's St. John's like I, Michigan pummeled them, then Michigan <laughs> lost to like Long Beach State. St. John's had lost to Dayton. St. John's was 0 4 versus the spread. I didn't think they were good. It's like Utah was three and one. If Utah was even, and they're usually decent. Utah, this team, I, oh, horrible. It's feast week, Dave. I know. I yeah, just checked lost. myself. I'm, I'm, I'm zero and two already today. It's fucking eleven a.m. on Monday. I'm gonna be zero and two. God damn it! Uh, all right, games. We got four of them. Oregon State at Oregon. The line right now. We're taping this Monday morning. So um, just be aware when these clips go out. We're taping it very early in the week because it's Christ or, uh, Thanksgiving week. Uh, Oregon, Oregon State, that is on Friday night, I believe, on awesome. Black Friday. Uh, Going to be a great game. Oregon is minus 14, over under 62 and a half. Rico, I'll start with you. Yeah, so obviously Oregon State, they get their chances ruined. Well, if they beat Oregon, are they in? No. No. Probably not. No, um, I think it's if they beat Oregon, I believe it might be. I'll look right now. I think Arizona might be somewhere around there. Arizona's been so fucking good. They've been just money in the bank. They have been insane. Um, I'm, I'm going to look. Keep going with your thoughts. No, so Oregon State's 5-3 and three in the conference, so it's impossible. Yeah, it would be Arizona. Oh. I think it would be uh, Arizona. Oregon State needed to win out, yeah. yeah. Um, so... Yeah, whatever. Uh, so Oregon State's party is now ruined. They had an outside shot at the big, the Pac-12, but this game means a lot. Uh, I actually think Oregon State has done a good job of stifling some defenses to a degree. Like Washington has Penix. They scored what? Fucking 22 points. 
That was also gonna, weather. That was that that was a sloppy game. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the with the under to a degree. I think that they can slow down Oregon or disrupt them just a little. Uh I don't know if I want to lay the 13. I do think Oregon kind of I think Oregon's gonna win. I'm gonna go with the under just because I think Oregon State can muck it up just a little here and get them off to a slow start, control the clock. I'm gonna go under the 62. Dave? Too many points for me for a rivalry game. Obviously, devastating loss for Oregon State last week, but I, this is plenty to play for just to spoil their season. Oregon's playing great. All right? I, nobody's good, as good as, I don't care, winning 50 every game. I don't know. Part of me thinks I should do first half. They keep it close, but I don't want to fuck around with that. I'm just it, it, meaning they could keep it close and then get like Oregon could pull away th- late third, fourth. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to take the points. It's a rivalry game. Oregon State's good. I'm going to take Oregon State and the points for a bounce pack um, and a tight, tight. I am as well. I just think that the fact that it's, you know, the last Pac-12 game ever for Oregon State, in-state rival, these guys may never play again, which is an absolute shame. That's Uh, crazy. Yeah, it sucks. So I'm going to take the points as well. I'll take plus 14. All right, next game. FSU at Florida. So, backup bowl. Uh, this line, I think it was six and a half. Let me get the updated line right now. It is six and a half. So, Florida's a six and a half point dog. Over under is 51 and a half. Dave, I'll start with you. I think Florida keeps us close, can win it. Obviously, the backup. Uh, I think it probably would have been close with Travis, to be honest. Um, we'll see what Florida State's made of. A lot of times you can rally around something like this. You know, they had that picture of the entire Florida State like team basically at the hospital. So they're tight group. And I do think they're going to rally. But I, I think Florida is playing OK. Um, I think it's a tight game that Florida State figures out a way to win. But I'll take the points. Yeah, I'm going to go with Florida as well. Uh, just rivalry week, everything that's at, at line. Also, Florida State, I think their backup is decent. But the pressure they have to feel right now, knowing that they don't have like Jordan Travis was so good, and he was able to get them out of things and, and and win games. To not have that in your back pocket when you know that you can't lose a game down the stretch, you have everything in front of you. Florida's got nothing to lose. Their season sucked. I'm going to take Florida as well. Rico. Under. Just for the sense. I know, Dave, you're starting to concern me. Like I said, I didn't watch much of Florida. They're running the bowl all over the place, but with two backup bowls, I think they played a little conservative. I'm going to go under 51 and a half. Okay, uh, next game we have Alabama and Auburn, Iron Bowl. Auburn's plus 15 at home, over-under is 48 and a half. Dave, I'll start with you. I mean, listen, that last game, shocking, clearly, but sandwich spots, sandwich spots, sandwich spots. Um, having said that, I think Alabama still kills them. I'll take Alabama. You do? Yeah. I'm going to take the over 48 and a half in this game. Um, I don't know. Auburn's offense, well, I can't say they're, they've are they been better at home because they just lost to New Mexico State. Uh, but I'll take the over in this game. I, I, I tend to lean what you're saying, Dave, that Alabama, like they have just been wasting teams. Yeah, and, and I don't think Auburn's like very good. Rolling. So it's like I, their rise up, like I, 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 yeah, I'm shocked they lost, but clearly they were looking ahead to this. Um, I just, there's too big of a difference in the teams, I think. Yeah, Rico. Uh, you just kind of hit me with something with the math on this game. This total is 48? 48 and a half. Okay, and I'm laying 15. What's Alabama's team total? Thirty. It's early in the week, so like 31, do we estimate? Man, I'll, 30. Be out. I'll, I'll look it up for you. But that's the, that's the way I'm going to go. I'm going to go Alabama's team total. All right, let me find it. Whatever it ends up being. No, we'll find it right now. Seems like a very low total in a game where I'm laying 15. It's probably in, it, probably in the 30s, right? Hold on. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. Auburn, Alabama. Yeah, we don't have one yet. It's too early in the week. All right, so we'll give you whatever it that's is. That's what it whatever it is, Jack. You could you put it that way. I'll also uh You know what? Give me three of them. Fuck it. Uh, Alabama and Alabama first half. Ooh. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Uh, Last game, the big game. 
we will be there. Everyone, please come out. We will be across the street from Ann Arbor, from from uh, the big house. All the big shows, uh, Fox, ESPN, us. I've been saying as a Michigan man, we should be the only show that people show up to. ESPN has been very rude. Pete Thamel, um, that fucking pencil geek, um, whatever that SEC fucking piece of trash, fucking four-eyed loser. Um, Fine bomb. Yeah, who won't recognize me. Shut the fuck up. The, 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 so I'm taking Michigan. Um you know, it's a shame we don't have a coach. We're playing with one hand behind our back. But that's how Crying Ryan wanted it. He doesn't want a fair fight because he knows he's going to get his ass kicked in a fair fight. It's three and a half, I think, now. First time Michigan's been favored in five years in this game. But they haven't beat us since the days of COVID. This last game, the least shocking thing of all time, it's deja vu. It's what yep. they did against Illinois last year. They're just... And I said it. I said on this show. I said on college show. There is no way you can get up. And, and football is that sport where if you're not ready, you end up in, in games like Michigan was at with uh, Maryland. I do think Michigan has essentially shut it down these last two weeks offensively. And people are like, oh, J.J., don't forget, J.J., we, McCarthy was the Heisman favorite like three weeks ago. I think they're going to let him loose just like they did last year. Uh, and, and I think we go in and I beat, we beat Ohio State uh, again for the millionth time in a row. Okay. Re oh, Dave, are you a little nervous that Harbaugh accepting his penalty is maybe a sign that he's going to leave? No, I thought that was magnanimous. Like all the talk about what judges seeing it, What's happening next when the court case is nobody's talking about the kids. Nobody's talking about the players. It's like Sister Jean. Uh, like, let's put the focus on the guys strapping the helmets on. Take that out. Uh, we don't need two weeks of will he be there? Will he not be there? This is about the kids. This is about Blake Corum. This is about J.J. McCarthy. This is about all the guys who line up. And, and they only have four years there, Dan. Harbaugh, coach, you can coach forever. He wanted, to put, experience. He, he wanted to put the focus back on the game, the field. I thought it was one of the, for lack of a better word, the most Michigan man thing a Michigan man can do by saying, you know what? I'm going to take myself out. It's bullshit. We'll just step aside and we'll let the kids have the focus. See, I, I feel like he knows that the NCAA and the Big Ten just want him. And he was like, I'll take this. Maybe. I'll be able to coach in the Big Ten championship game. I'll be able to coach in the playoffs. And then I'll just I'll I'll get out of Dodge and you guys can, you know, Michigan can carry on as a program. Listen, he, he, that that's a different way of saying what I'm saying. Like he Yeah, he, no, no. I I th yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with what you're saying. I just think it might be bigger. Like he's he he's setting the stage for it's clear that you guys want your blood. Yeah, so you want so, me more than anything else. I'll leave. Cry Ryan Michigan wants. To. It's like George, it's the Jordan. It's the Jordan Belfort speech in front of all of his guys. He's gonna take the rap so that, that the whole thing can carry well, on. Listen, I maybe he does, and, and it, it's a sad thing. It's just it's because Michigan's been the dominant force, and Cry and Ryan can't beat them. Though we we as big as this thing's gotten, you can't forget it's over like signals. It, it, it's crazy. And it's jealousy, and that's what happens in the Big Ten. That's why I said we should leave the conference. Um, but if if Har there's maybe Harbaugh is part of me, like, oh, you think this is going to get rid of me? It won't. I'm going to stick around here and beat the piss out of you for the next decade. Or would I begrudge him if he's like, this is crazy. Like, like I I can't deal with these crybabies, and we, you know, win the Big Ten again. And I'm gonna I, listen. Am I? Everything I say here is the truth. Am I confident going up against Georgia? No, I think that's going to be a very tough game. But let you know if he wins the Big Ten for the third straight time, beats Ohio for the third straight time, goes undefeated in what like twenty four straight Big Ten championships, and Cry and Ryan can't compete, and and Tom Petiti, who somebody told me he was like, what? Where does he come from? MLB. Yeah, that guy's a fucking moron. So, so he he he's like the Astros. He dealt with it like he's signals, and for him, it's this big thing. And he's and and Harbaugh says, you know what? I, I I'm just gonna step aside because this is crazy. What we're dealing with, babies. 
he leaves if he leaves this legacy of just absolutely destroying the program in Ohio, he's gonna do what he's gonna do. But this yeah. is the big game. It all depends on this. He can't we he can't leave if we don't win this game. Yeah, I'd agree with that. He's got to win this game. He has to. Uh, it's all the chips. Like it's the best. This is why we love sports. Everything's in the middle. He has I, to win this game. I think. And I know, like, people say McCarthy. The biggest differential is our quarterback versus theirs. I have confidence in McCarthy, and I think they're going to unleash him. I think McCord stinks. 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 So, the only counterpoint I'd have is Ohio State does have the best player on the field. That is a fact. With uh, Harrison? Yeah. Yes. I'm not he as is, impressed as, with him as everybody. His dad, you know, I mean, his, that's dad, crazy. his dad, what did his dad murder somebody? There was a gun. There was we could go to our our gun expert Rico. Uh, every, it everyone was like a gun, talk. and then the, yeah. it was moved. It was like his auto body. Yeah, body. Rico, you've been in these situations before. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get out of it? Uh, I was unfamiliar. I do know he had yeah a decorated past. Uh, depends if he was charged or not, really. Yeah. But and I mean whatever. That's his dad. Whatever. Listen, I, I Michigan looked really bad against Maryland. They looked really bad against Illinois the year before. I think you're going to come out and see a gassed up, ready to roll, angry, mean uh, Michigan. We didn't play with our best receiver, by the way, last week. The guy wearing the uh, free Harbaugh shirt. Yeah. No, I, I it's um this game I I I right now as we're as we're sitting here, I might change I'm going to take the under at 47 and a half just because I do think these two teams know each other so well. And it, like you said, Dave, like Michigan has shown that if they can win the game, running the ball down your throat, that is exactly what they do. And that's what they will do. Um, so I'm going to go under 47 and a half. Again, I might change it. I'll release my full card later when I like have a second dive into it. And I lean Michigan. I would love if it got to three. I don't think it ever will. But they, they've run the ball. McCarthy has played great in this game the last two years. So I yeah. the, the 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 McCarthy haters, he had the single most important play of the game last year. They were down seven nothing, I believe, and it was third and long, and they had him dead to rights. He scrambled out to his left and hit a guy thirty yards downfield. I he is a there's certain guys who are winners. He is it, a winner. He makes the plays when you need to make plays. It was Cade McNamara two years ago, just so. Even better. Even better. Even better. I just know people will be like, what the fuck? Uh, but J.J. McCarthy was on the roster, and I think he threw a pass. In that yeah, game. well, uh, yeah, they, he, he definitely saw reaction. Uh, Rico, your pick. Two questions off of this. Uh, Dave, is it true that Ev said this, so I don't know. Well, he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> is there a bulk suspension? They're already talking about a bulk suspension for next year for Harbaugh? <sighs> Have you heard this? I mean, the Ohio State message boards will do whatever they can. This is the most Fair. pathetic excuse. I don't even know why Ohio State wants Harbaugh not to be there. It makes no sense to me because no, if you, well, you're, if we're, you're we're playing AD, at half speed. You're getting yeah. a 50% Michigan. If Day loses, how does he justify this to the to the? AD? Oh, he's got to be gone. Be like, dude, you didn't have your, they didn't have their coach. Yeah, they didn't have their coach. The most important person on the field, the, the head coach, and we yes. don't have ours. We're playing at fifty percent. Second question, in terms of keeping the locker room together, where are you and Taylor Lewan with this? You get you guys get back together. I saw you. Well, that was I just a, want to make sure all the Michigan no, guys are alive. We are together. That was a we actually talked about that specific type tweet on this yes, show. That's what made me laugh. Saying it's much. a movie. Did you see the tweet he had? Yeah. I, I had the most epic gambling see, weekend right? ever. With Steve, will do it. I swear it was a movie. Absolute yeah. scenes. It's epic. It was. It literally looked like <laughs> it was from a cool guy generator. <laughs> It was ridiculous. Sorry. No, I, I just had to point out. I mean, we just talked about it. 
Like, I almost thought it was sarcastic at first. It was that over the, and it's not just that, it's the gambling part of it. Like, I had the most gambling weekend ever with Steve Will Do It, who I like. And I like Taylor. No, we're together. Taylor's going to be at the show. It's Michigan and together. But that was a crazy tweet. He's, he's, Taylor's one of those football guys, and you have them. They're, they're just like a year or two behind on like everything. And he's just a year <laughs> or two behind on like using it was a movie. Yeah, they're, they're they're a little bit basic bitches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Oh, gambling! Uh, we I, had the most epic gambling weekend <laughs> ever. It was a movie, absolute scenes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rico, what's your pick? I do think you can get a better number. I feel like this game has moved significantly over the years. Like I remember locking in, or or when we did it. A while back, it was like seven. It moved all the way to ten. I do think it's going to move. You're going to get a lot of action, so I think you'll get a better number. But I'm going Michigan minus the four. Um, from everything I've half. seen in the in the trenches, it matters more. I think Ohio State can get punched in the mouth. We've watched Ohio State play two tough games, one of them against Notre Dame. Notre Dame probably had that game. I don't think Notre Dame's like elite. I think Michigan, to Dave's point, has been holding it back just a little. It means more. The fuck you attitude at home. I very much could see this being decided by a field goal late because it is a war, but I will lean with the Michigan minus the four. I have now, a really good feeling about it too. Now, Dave, um, we talked about this last week. Now that it is the line is out and it's minus three and a half and the money line's minus oh, 175. Okay. Yeah, minus 175. Is there a chance there's a bomb on Michigan money line? No. 175? What would it have to get to? 140. 175 okay. is a like think of that in yeah. baseball terms. Yeah. If you see a minus 175, you it's basically for a, for lack of better words, like for two bucks you get one back. It's just you can't Yeah. You can't you can't do you it. You can't win that way. You can't win that way. And it is Black Friday, Black Friday, Black Friday, and we have deals, 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 deals. Black Friday starts now or soon, depending on why I post it. The entire Barstool store. Go to the Barstool Sports Store. Go. Tonight, the Barcel Sports Store, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Last time it sold out in like fast. Black Friday sales still going. 20% off the entire Barstool Sports Store. 20% off the entire Barstool Sports Store. Cards. I know there might not be full cards. We'll release them later. Uh, I, I know that I haven't had a chance to look through the full cards. Do you have anything, Rico? Uh... We could do what we're thankful for quick. Usually okay. a tradition. Yeah, let's do it. You go first, Dan. All right. I'm thankful um, for you guys, everyone here in this room. I'm thankful for the listeners. We have the best job in the world. I get to do the coolest fucking things in the world. And uh, I know that it's – I don't take it for granted that I am one of the luckiest guys on earth. Uh, so I never take that for granted, and I cherish – all this every every time we get to do it because I know someday we won't be doing it and uh, it's nice to be able to do the thing you love like even little things like Dave and I just sitting in the RV on Saturdays sweating out bets. I even when I'm losing, I'm having a good time. I got a smile oh, on my I, face. I, I am not having a good time. I lose. I, I was I, yesterday. I was I was so. It's hard to describe how upset I was with myself watching that Utah basketball team. And I had to really watch my mouth. It's only money. I don't. Did, we got our health. We got our friendship. Did, I'm telling you, the big guy thought he was Larry Bird. The shots he was attempting with, they, I could get it if they're rimming out or like, oh, good, tough, tough bounce. They weren't even close. The moves he was doing were preposterous. I've never seen. A college guy attempt the shots he was routinely attempting. Back to the basket, Kareem Skyhook from like a foot inside the three-point <laughs> line. It was crazy. It always cracks me up that this is a college football show and that is the crux of this show. But the beginning of this year, you have late September baseball games where you're cursing some guy on the fucking yeah, Pirates. Yeah, it's a game. And then the later show. we get, we got feet. Like, it is very much the show. appetizer, but the, I mean, the uh, main dish. But, man, those sides really fucking People are telling me, you know, ball, the they're like, this guy is good. It's like, no. 
I he must have scored. They must have played a team that the tallest guy was five eight. So he, but I we got to, I don't know. Well, you know what is 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 Lucas highlights there? Uh, yeah. Can you have him get game tape of that game and put together yes. that guy's shot collection, please? Yes. And put a soundtrack yes. to it. Done. Um, I have one last thing I'm thankful for. I'm thankful that. At least from my understanding at the discussion at the beginning of the show, Rico has no issue with me. It's only the new dog. I will say this. <laughs> Top five most controversial things we've done, I think, is coming up. I don't know how our audience is going to react when we Just air surviving. Surviving Barstool, which airs uh, after Cyber Monday. But... You put your seatbelts on. <laughs> it's not yeah. for the faint of heart. Yeah. The, the landscape is going to be different, a lot different in like a month. Yeah, it was uh, quite something. <laughs> but Rico, can I can I ask it you? It's emotional. Is there any chance that I can get the old dog and new dog playing again together? The new dog cut the old dog off. So I got. We were oh. on a different planet. That's right. what it was. All right. So I got to I got to talk to the new dog. I'm gonna get the new dog. To be like, hey, the old dog wants to play catch every now and then. We'll come bring over a, a Let's stuff, fucking, stuffy toy. The riders in Jerry's army can't be fighting because right. this is what happens. I get, I get caught in the middle where I'm like, wow, damn, Rico really didn't want me to win $100,000. That's, That's crazy. Not, it's not true. It's not true. Okay. so and Again, it's, you know, it's don't come like, uh, I don't even know if I should say it. Say it. No, because last time I did it, I didn't put it's myself in a good spot. What did it say? It? This is where it, it all gets aired out yeah, of the dinner table. it's of grievances. Go ahead. Sometimes it feels like the two dogs do the exact same kind of thing. And one gets gloated as, oh, how cute that was. And the other one, you're just rolling up the newspaper. And it's <laughs> so like, you know, like, like we're in a clip business. D did I look like an idiot when I went to UCF? Yeah, absolutely. That gets, like, knocked, plays in a celebrity softball game. It couldn't be any better. So Wait, it's like I that. knocked him for the celebrity softball game. He kept on saying uh, he was hitting a home run, and I was like, you didn't hit a fucking home run, He also took dude. a week for a one-day event. He did, and I knocked him for that. God, there it's, might be a it's, chance. It's like, it's like the old older child versus younger child. The yeah. older child has to deal with it. You know, the, My research let, let me help and you. And by the time the younger child comes around, the parents are like, whatever, who gives a fuck? Let me help you, Rico. Uh, I think maybe the difference that you were missing is the new dog rolls with the punches a lot better than the old dog. He can. The new dog can be the butt of the joke and have fun with it. The old dog doesn't like being the butt of the joke dave impartial judge i think i'm roll i'm making fun of myself quite a bit you, the, more the, than the, the, the this the, time last the, year the, the the old dog has definitely gone to school and and the wearing the shock collar he's he's chilled out the the old dog seemingly people who used to be afraid to give him treats because they'd lose a finger are now giving right. him treats and you know like oh he's really he's he's turned over new leaf and he still has those crazy uh they may you know, bring him they the may, drive. They, they may bring him to the park and and maybe let him off leash I, right I, the, the mailman comes down the, the driveway. I still have those moments. Wrong, the moments yeah. on the stream, those do well. Like this. yeah, no, you can those still are going nuts. What? You just can't threaten people's lives wait, from my owner. Wait, so but I think the old dog just whenever the old dog gets a compliment, he doesn't even see it because he's so focused on the old dog. That clip of the old dog losing with the Buffalo uh, 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 Survivor League was an all-time clip. I told the old dog to his face that. The old dog doesn't really internalize compliments, so he then says, no, the, well, "Why a, aren't you complimenting?" A, in all honesty, it's a it's a T guy issue more than a RB guy issue. Got it. The T guy and we're working really on see like it. the T man doesn't see the compliments because that is I do think that we compliment a you a decent amount. It's just hard for the T guy to internalize that the RB guy is getting 
Yeah. Uh, well, it's compliments. excellent. It's 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 excellent. I mean, like, I I do try to excel. So like, it's yeah, to is it fucked up that the I Rico Bosco story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We ain't going for second place, Dave. No, and uh, and, and the, winning culture. So like, yeah, I hold. You know, I do, yeah. There's a couple of things you hear, but I always see the the bad one because yeah, it motivates I know. me to do the so next. We gotta now, get is the that kind of fucked up? Yeah, we gotta kill but... the T man. We gotta kill the T man. <laughs> That's what we gotta do. We already like, tried that. The T man also like, I I think T man's like, why am I not getting any shine? The T man forgets that the RB man got Dave to do a one week subscribeathon to his new show. That no other show in the history of Barstool has ever gotten, and the RB man should realize that that's that's a lot of shine. Yeah, has never complained about that nor asked for that. Dave did it more as for the right. J man. No, Dave did it for the J man. What I'm saying, when other people get shine and you're like, they don't they don't pay attention to the old dog. It's like here's an example of the old dog getting all the belly scratches. I like he moves that leg to let go, so I scratched the right. Legs. He was his leg was going all week, but then you get to another week and he's like, well, "Why are you looking at that puppy?" It's like, re- or sorry, RB man, we were literally getting your leg going for an entire week. Yeah, I'm thankful for for the RB man, and maybe the T man. I don't know. T man's rough. T man is a T man is selfish prick sometimes, but the RB man I like. Cards. What are you thankful for, Dave? What was that face? Rico? Dave shutting it down. He's at it. He's at it. Yeah, no, no. What were you thankful for, Rico? Go He's ahead. right. Uh, stabilized mental health. Like I think I'm still crazy, but I've stabilized it. Mm-hmm. Second chances. The second. fact that what? <laughs> we're way past second. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's, let's stay together. Let's roll out that, that leg. Let's that stay, was, together. That was stay together. Seconds. Stay together. Stay together. Stay together. Stay together. Stay together. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, being able that people give a shit about you talking about sports, my lifelong dream. And the fact that we've done 10 years and we now have the biggest, uh, game ever. Like watching a big game is something to be thankful for. I cannot wait for Saturday at 12 o'clock. Yes. It's going to be great. Dave, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful that we got the company back. You know, that's a good thing. Everyone's happy. It's well, not really, but it's it's how I like it. Like I don't want people like kumbayaing around here. I want I want it on the verge of an explosion. Um, and, and you know that's what I'm thankful for. That it it feels like we're in a volatile spot. Uh, and it could explode at any minute. So I am thankful for that. And obviously, I'm thankful uh, for however um, the sporting gods have decided to do it, that I'm rerunning the Patriots playbook right now with Michigan. Um, this is kind of crazy. So that's great. It People don't realize how, like, exact this is. Same thing. It's, it's, I was explaining to someone the other day, I was like, you have to understand that Dave is in the mindset right now that if like a stranger on the street just starts debating him, he will stand there for an hour and talk Michigan and and Connor Stallions and all this stuff. He is so deep in it, and it's the best because that's the best content. And you have more time too. Like the Deflate Gate only happened whatever a couple days before Super Bowl week. You've had like a month and a half for this one. No, Deflate Gate was Colts. He had two weeks. No, they beat somebody. The, the Colts wasn't the AFC Championship, was it? Yeah, it was, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. Was it? Yeah. Wait. No, it wasn't. That was the first round playoffs. No, Deflategate. Yeah. Deflategate. In two weeks, was- and then Deflategate went on. He didn't get suspension for a year. So, I mean. Yeah, it was I think 2014 it was the- uh, AFC it was. Championship. Was it? No, it no, champion. no. Deflategate was they beat the Colts 40 to nothing. It was the yeah, 2014 was... AFC Championship game. Oh, AFC I thought AFC you were Champions saying it was 20 to 14 was the score. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Got it. Um, okay. Car- 45-7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In that game. Uh, all right. Cards. Dave. All right. I like Old Miss minus 11 against Miss State. I think Miss State stinks. Arkansas plus 7.5 at home against Missouri. Arkansas has played most teams tough. They just gave Pittman another year, I think. Um, yep. Texas minus 13.5 at home against Texas Tech. 
I think Tech's a totally different team, home road. Uh, Michigan already gave that over LSU, A&M, 66 and a half. Um, Northwestern, plus five and a half against Illinois. Northwestern just keeps winning. That was the easiest more lock last week. Uh, Arizona, uh, minus 12 and a half on the road against Arizona State. This was one of the worst bets I ever made in this game. I don't remember which team I took, but they lost by 70. Literally. Oh, yes. Friday, I feel like they played it on a Friday it, it, it night. It was 60 to nothing before you blinked. It was, a, it was I could be, unbelievable. It was either a, I feel like it was a Thursday night or a Friday I night. I think and I yes, had Arizona, I, and I think Arizona State literally hung 70. I, How many years? You know what's crazy is Jaden Daniels might have been involved in that game. No, I don't think he was. Okay. I feel like it was Maybe. within the last It was like three, three years four. ago, four years ago. Worst game ever. Uh, Florida plus six and a half at home against FSU. We talked about that. I like K-State minus 11 and a half at home against Iowa State. Iowa State thinks K-State at home better. Um, so that's my card. Okay, Rico. Uh, whatever I said, Jack, you pull it up because uh, I didn't write them down. Ohio minus 13 and a half against Akron. I think they roll. Memphis minus the 12 against Temple. Memphis first half. Uh, Michigan minus three and a half. That's a borderline lock. BYU, I'm going to take BYU plus the 17 and a half against Oak State. I think they keep it close. Uh, that one's going to be a lock. And FSU, Florida under 51 and a half. Okay. I am. Uh, I have to do my whole card. I have had no time. I, I went from the office to the office. Dave, you uh, ready? Uh, yeah. December yeah. 11th. 2020 Arizona State 70 to 7. Yeah, I had I, I I bet big on Arizona in that game. What was the score at the end of the first quarter? 35 nothing. Something insane. I'm about to pull it up. Yeah, I mean they, they, they every play they scored. It was nuts. Every yeah, it was wild. It was, it was 21-0 at the end of the first quarter. That's not. I thought it was worse. What was it at halftime? Uh, 42 to 7. Yeah, it was. So Jaden Daniels nine of 11, that 203 was, yeah. yards, two TDs. It was Jaden wow. Daniels. Yeah, that was brutal. I remember that one. That was a tough one. Uh, all right, my Osu lock. I mean that that uh, that spread wasn't that great. You guys are talking about bad picks. I think that yeah. was my mortal. They, it was off by seventy. Yeah, that was a bad one. Yeah, I do remember that, and I think I might have rode with you. What was the final score? Seventy to what? Seven. 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 <laughs> It was 77. <laughs> Every play was a touchdown. It was crazy. <laughs> you know what else is fucking insane about that year? That was their first win of the fucking year. They lost to USC by with that COVID shit. They started in November. They played two games to that point, and that was their first win of the season. Jesus. Made them one and two. Fucking Jesus. insane. Um. Okay. <laughs> Rico, do you like Gonzaga today, by the way? Uh, I think that I like Edie. Edie's a friend, but, uh, this kid Ike for Gonzaga is slept on. He's an animal for Wyoming two years ago when he was healthy. He didn't play a fucking second last year. He's back. He's at, he averaged 18 to nine at Wyoming. He's been putting up numbers for them. I think he could give Edie some problems. Uh, it's Gonzaga getting the five. Yeah. Yeah. I would lean with Gonzaga. I like Utah state too tonight. Sprinkle outright. He beats Akron. Um, Okay. And Tennessee, Syracuse, under. Ever, I know they said that game's going to fly over. I think Tennessee's going to play some defense and fucking smush people. They are Tennessee. in Honolulu. They're, they're not in Maui because obviously the fires are in yep. Honolulu this year. Uh, yeah. Okay. My lock of the week. Let's do locks. Uh, my lock of the week. I am. I, I told our good friend Will Compton that I would do this for him. I'm going to take Nebraska minus one and a half. Weird line movement. They started as a dog. Now they're a favorite. Nebraska's got everything to play for. Iowa's got nothing to play for in the fact that they are already in the Big Ten championship game. Nebraska's trying to play for a bowl game. Uh, Matt Rule was maybe the biggest pussy coach of all time against the Badgers on Saturday night. Wisconsin ended up covering in overtime. I don't know if you guys had eyes on that game. No, we didn't. They, I did not. They, yeah, I would imagine you didn't. They oh, yeah. Well, I saw you. I followed a little bit. You said you were dead, and I just assumed. It was 14 it, And then nothing I saw quick. your video with the score it was, it was in the back. It was 14 nothing. It was 14 nothing quick. Then the, the Badgers were the better team, but Nebraska had, I think, two timeouts uh, with like a minute and a half left. They got to about the 30, and they just played for a field goal. Like, it was – I've never seen anything like it. Played for overtime, lost in overtime. I, I don't really understand that, but – they have everything to play for. They got to try to get to a bowl game, first bowl game in a long time for Nebraska. 
Uh, I'm going to take Nebraska minus one and a half against Iowa. Dave, your lock. Two things. When you talk live movement, Dan, I texted you before that Utah game. Yep. That was crazy. That I was following the line in Utah St. John's the entire day. It went, it, it started at four and a half St. John's, went to five. My uh, it's four minus four and a half Utah. Like a couple hours, I saw it move to five. A couple hours later, moved to five and a half. Utah minus stayed there. The game was late on a tip off because it's one of those things. There's somebody played there before. A minute and a half before the game tipped, it it dropped a full point. Somebody went house on St. John's. I knew it was a. I texted him. I go, this just moved yeah. a full point. Thirty seconds before a tip, it's a loser. Somebody knows something. Um, my mortal walk. I keep doing it. I think Northwestern beats Illinois. Northwest. I don't understand these Northwestern lines. You were out on them so early yeah. in the year. It's crazy that they've rallied. They rallied a while. What's though. the line? They're plus five and a half at Illinois. They, yeah, they just keep beating people. I'll take them again. Yeah, no, they they it's crazy and if they don't win, it's going to be like a last second field goal in an ugly ass game. Neither team can blow out the other. Team. Yeah, uh, Rico, Arizona, Arizona State over fifty and a half. I just okay. watched Arizona State get rocked by uh, Oregon. I think Arizona State moves the ball. Uh, I think this game goes over fairly easy. We watched Arizona State get rocked by Utah. I think. Shit, Arizona might score the fifty themselves, so I'm uh, I'm going with that over okay. fifty. Uh, Ebo, uh, I'm gonna take uh, Washington, Washington State under sixty-seven. He's taking Washington, Washington State under sixty-seven and a half. Jack, uh, Bama minus fifteen. Bama minus fifteen. Zoopy, I'm going with the Buckeyes plus three and a half. Zoopy. Ooh, uh, Hank. So like I'll never learn his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking Michigan. I love the uh, I love the defend the wall storyline. I want to see it keep. Had a boy. Hank. Uh, okay, and then Liam. LS two A and M over uh, sixty six and a half. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Austin, you want to do a pick? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good pick them. Pick them. Schedule uh, rest of the season. We're gonna do a championship week. Obviously, pick them, and then we will have. Uh, I think the the surviving barstool finale is live, so we don't know who won, uh, and it will be in Chicago. So we will do a the final bowl season pick 'em with all three of us together. Um, Rico, if I negotiate this piece between the old dog and new dog, I should be up for Nobel Prize. There's not much of a beef with it's. I got cut off. You cut me off. All right, we'll get Dave, it. Dave, we'll dinner it on Monday. Yeah, sure. Yes, I'd love that. Wow. All right. Huge. See you guys. See you guys. Huge. All right. See you guys next week. It's a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs>